So para po sa pinakaunang magtatanong dito sa ating uh, sunod na na uh, issue is yun on the 50 year constitutional limitation of a franchise. Uh, pakinggan po muna natin ang ABS-CBN sa kanilang kahiyag uh, tungkol sa issue na ito. ABS-CBN, you have the floor. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I request that Attorney Ayo Bautista be recognized. Uh, Attorney Ayo uh, Bautista, you are recognized. Okay, unmute lang po si Attorney Ayo. Magandang hapon po. Nalilinig po ba ninyo ako? Uh, Malinaw po, Attorney Ayo. Please proceed po. Salamat po. Good afternoon to the Honorable Chairman of the Joint Committees. Good afternoon to the members of the committees and sa lahat po ng ating mga congressmen at congresswomen. Ang sinasabi po ay dapat i-deny ang franchise application ng ABS-CBN dahil po ito ay lumalabag sa Section 11, Article 12 ng ating 1987 Constitution. Specifically po, sinasabi na ang frankisa daw ay dapat 50 years lang. At kung ang isang public utility ay mag-ooperate in excess of 50 years, ito daw ay labag sa batas. With due respect, we, we disagree with this proposition. Ang nakalagay po sa Section 11, Article 12 ng 1987 Constitution is as follows, and I will read it. No franchise, certificate, or any other form of authorization for the operation of a public utility shall be granted, tapos may mga salita po, for a longer period than 50 years. Ang interpretation po nitong provision na to, ang issue ngayong araw with respect to the public utility 50-year limitation. Ito pong Section 11, Article 12 ng 1987 Constitution ay nanggaling sa Section 8, Article 13 ng 1935 Constitution at sa Section 5, Article 14 of the 1973 Constitution. Yung tatlo pong provisions na ito ay exactly the same, similarly worded. Wala pong pinalitan sa pananalita ng provision na ito. Ang aming pong submission is that on its face, the 50-year limit applies to each franchise certificate of authorization and does not prohibit the grant of a new franchise to the same entity. Hence, the Congress may grant several franchises to the same public utility. Wala pong pagbabawal dito. Yun po ang bare reading of the provision as it is written. Ang sinabi po ng Korte Suprema ay, and I quote, where the words of a statute are clear, plain, and free from ambiguity, it must be given its literal meaning and applied without attempted interpretation. It is a well-settled principle of, constitu of constitutional construction that the language employed in the Constitution must be given their ordinary meaning except where technical terms are employed. Ito po ang ruling ng Corte Suprema sa Chavez versus Judicial and Bar Council, 17 July 2012. Let's presume na hindi po klaro yung provisions on the long on the 50 year limitation. Ang sinabi po ng Supreme Court in the construction of a doubtful and ambiguous law and we submit po na hindi naman doubtful at ambiguous itong provision na to, the contemporaneous construction of those who are called upon to act under the law and were appointed to carry its provisions into effect is entitled to very great respect. Yan po ang ruling ng Supreme Court sa Ting versus Central Bank of the Philippines, 24 September 1958. Ayon, sino po ba ang government agency na nag implement at nag-give effect to this provision? Sino po ba ang nagbibigay ng franchises? Alam po natin lahat that it's Congress. 
at ang mga ginagawa ng Congress sa Frankisa, una dadaan yan sa Legislative Franchise Committee, pagkatapos dadaan sa Plenary Congress itself. Pag makalipas po sa, kung makaraos po yan sa Congress, dadaan naman po yan sa Senado, and after the Senate, it goes to the President who will either decline or approve the grant of franchise. Yun po ang proseso ito. So, tinignan po namin ang mga jurisprudence sa Supreme Court with respect to the construction of the subject provision. Wala po kami nakita. So, ang pinag-aralan na lang po namin, ang research namin, ay yung mga prangkisang binigay ng Congress through the years. At may I add, na yung gaya ng sinabi ko ng umpisa, no? itong provision na to ay, sa, ay nasa 1935, 1973, at 1987 Constitution. Ang ibig sabihin po nun, yung framers ng 1987 Constitution were satisfied with the implementation, interpretation, construction of the government with respect to the franchises, specifically on the 50-year term. Ngayon nag-research po kami ng mga prakisa na pinigay na ng Kongreso. Ito po, we based on the website at congressional records. So, ang Manila Electric Railroad and Light Company po, ang Meralco, ay 126 years na po. Unang-una sila napigyan ng prakisa, Act Number 484, no October 20, 1902. Ganun na po katagal pala ang Meralco. Ang Philippine Long Distance Telephone Company, PLDT po, ay 100 years na po in operation. Ang kanilang unang prangkisa ay nakuha noong November 28, 1928. Totaling 100 years ang PLDT. Ang tinignan din namin po ang mga power companies, light companies, hindi na sa Luzon, kundi sa buong Pilipinas. Ang Visayan Electric Company po, VECO, ay 102 years na po. Ang una pong pinigay na prangkisa ay through Act 3499, issued on 8 December 1928. Sa Davao po, Light and Power Company, 95 years na po yan. 95. Nagulat nga po ako, at tatanda na pala ng ating mga public utilities sa buong Pilipinas. Ang una nilang prangkisa ay nakuha noong November 26, 1930 by virtue of Act number 3716. Ang Philippine Airlines po, ang ating national carrier, ay 93 years old na po. It started on November 14, 1935 through Act number 4271 and it has been continuing its operations as a national flag carrier since 19 since 93 years ago pati po sa Cotabato nagulat po ako Cotabato Light and Power Company isang taon taon na pala yon 100 years na po nag-umpisa sila nag-umpisa sila June 18 1939 through Commonwealth Act number 487 And down the line po yan, no? Tinignan rin po namin ang mga telco, radio broadcast, TV broadcast, at media. Ang PTNT po ay 76 years old na. Ito po ay telecommunications company. Ang Catholic Bishops Conference po na meron broadcasting and TV stations ay 75 years na po. Ang Iglesia na Kristo, meron din po silang radio stations. Una silang binigyan noong June 16, 1965. And they have a total of 75 years. Ang GMA7 po, sila mismo po, sinasabi nila sa kanilang mga announcements, they are 70 years old in their operations. So, With the rest of the broadcasting company po, ABC5 is 62 years, IBC13 is 70 years. Sa totoo po, oh, sa totoo po, nung binilang namin lahat ng 
TV broadcast media stations. Lagpas po sampu ang meron media, meron pong franchise terms na in excess of 50 years. So ang aming pong submission ay wala pong nalalabang na constitutional provision kung bigyan po yung aming application for a, for a new franchise exceeding 50 years, or in operation 50 years. Kasi sinasabi po, 60 years na kami ngayon. Ang malaki pong enclosing, I want to highlight na kapag ang finding po ng Kongreso ay kailangan 50 years lang in operation ang isang public utility. Lahat pong itong mga korporasyon na binanggit ko ay violative of the Constitution yung kanilang propisa. So wala na tayong Meralco, wala na tayong PLDT, wala na tayong Philippine Airlines, wala na po tayong mga TV stations, wala tayong radio stations. Kaya napakabigat po yung bintang na kailangan 50 years lang ang public utility. Sa totoo lang po, sa SEC, any corporation can exist for as long as it is renewing its Articles of Incorporation and Filing for an Extension. Ang nakalagay po sa ating sanigang batas, no franchise, no certificate, no authority shall be in excess of 50 years. Kung ginusto po ng constitutional framers na ilimit lang yan sa 50 years, sasabihin po nila categorically na a public utility company or a telco company or a media company cannot operate more than 50 years. Yun po ang aming submission. Marami pong salamat.